This video is presented by Coaching Depot Trenel Valley. In this edition, we will be going to talk about the easy greasing techniques for anti-roll bar bearing. This is a D2 schedule record booklet for the Nelle Express, which contains the checklist of all the items that we have to attend during the D2 schedule. So here you can see that the anti-roll bar greasing is one of the important aspect of the D2 as well as D3 schedule. Before going any further. Let us talk about the anti-roll bar assembly and its importance. So here you can see this is the anti-roll bar with two forks between the bogey frame and bolster connected by the roll links. It is a torsional bar which resists the rolling motion of coach. Technically speaking, it realizes a constant reduced inclination coefficient during running. Now coming to the anti-roll bar bearing assembly. Here is the fixing block two fixing blocks are available this is the fixing block and it is the anti roll bar bearing it is a plain spherical bearing this part is the outer race and this one is inner race inner race is free to rotate or move inside the outer race this is how we, we will going to assemble it inside the fixing block this is the assembly here inner race is free to rotate or move this is the port from where we will apply the grease it is secured by one small bolt and in the inner race you can see one small orifice is available from where the grease will enter inside the bearing so now coming to the problems encountered by our maintenance staffs this is the small bolt that secures the grease port after some times this bolt used to corrode and leads to the wearing of the head or sometimes even breaking of the head from the main body so due to all this staffs are facing lot of difficulties for opening this bolt and sometimes this opening procedure will takes hours now to overcome this difficulty we have done one small but very effective modification we have replaced all the bolts with these grease nipples these nipples having a small spring loaded steel ball which is pressure operated which in turn helps in securing the opening and the other threaded end will sit inside the port now coming to the grease gun this is the instrument through which we fill the grease inside the anti roll bar bearing you can see the flexible hose with adapter available at the end which we will attach to the grease nipple let's come to the procedure part so the first step is the proper cleaning of the nipple with the cotton cloth Now attaching the grease gun adapter to the nipple here one staff should hold the adapter firmly and other should operate the gun and should give some strokes by this procedure two staffs can easily refill the entire rack of 24 coaches within a single day this modification we have done in all our primary racks at a minimal cost of 6 rupees per nipple and with respect to time cost and labor the results are very fruitful so now i want to conclude this is a very small modification but very effective one for the ease of operation thank you for watching